Wow, that's a pretty cool time in Vegas, huh? Uh, I, I'm just so uh, fortunate that that uh, car hauling brought me to uh, such a fabulous event. Unfortunately, I couldn't stay for the show, even though a customer gave me a ticket. But still, still, I I got a glimpse of some cool stuff, and uh, that Duesenberg was a big highlight for me. I'm sure uh, those of you who like that and understand what uh, cool cars like that are all about uh, enjoyed that also. So yeah, um, just wanted to recap everything and uh, just kind of set the the stage. You know, like I'm not always very happy about what I'm doing. You know, I have my my uh, good good moments and my challenging moments and my uh, should I be wasting my life in this career moments maybe I should be doing something else uh, but but overall this is a pretty fortunate opportunity so just want to say uh, hope you all can enjoy it too and I wish for you to have an opportunity to handle some of these amazing machines and enjoy the, the excitement that car hauling can offer. You know, if, if I wasn't a car hauler, I don't think I'd ever get a chance to, to be around such such fine automobiles it really for, for, for that alone it's worth it for that alone it's worth it and I, I, I just wonder what the future is going to be I mean it's such a bliss to to uh, be at events like this and it's mind blowing. It's it's more than my imagination can handle. More than I can. It really pushes me to dream bigger and bolder and more wild and really expands my horizon. Expands the mind. I know some of you comment and say, "Hey, uh, this isn't the audience for that," uh, because a lot of people on here think they can't afford such such uh, such things in life however everyone I ask I just wanted to let you know every every garage I go into and every time I ask someone that has like 20 30 40 50 cars say how did you get started you know, I, I want a garage like this too. And they said, with just one car. I started with just one car. You know, I'll, I'll never forget the story. Steve at Interstate Motorsports. Look it up. Interstate Motorsports on Instagram. When I hauled a 30th anniversary Lamborghini Diablo to him. I said... I asked him that question. He said, I just found a deal on a Diablo. On a Lamborghini. And I just figured out how to how to buy it. And uh, later, I found another one, and I figured how to buy that too, and sell the first one. And then it just kept going from there. And here I am, 20 years later. So that's that's usually the same story, is what they tell me. They found a deal somewhere, found a barn find, found something, something, and pushed really hard to get it. And then they got it, and then it, it, it's like a muscle, right, in your brain. You exercise, and you get strengthened from the exercising, right? And here you exercise, same thing, the skill of finding finding a uh, sweet deal and eventually you get better and better and better at it 
and before you know it, you're a car collector. So, that's what I have to say about it. Find your first deal. Do whatever it takes. Start with something small. You know, I started with a $200 car. And look, now I even have a Corvette C8. Don't drive it much. Rental car. If someone else driving it. But still, I got a little something something going on for me. I'm applying the stuff that I learned in the industry. And, and the, it, it, it is a... I do struggle in thinking maybe I should be doing something else. Maybe I should uh, switch it up a little bit. But then I come to think of it, I really like this. I really like like doing this career. I would do it for free because it's just mind blowing just to be here. So. If this interests you at all, if you're a car guy, you should consider car hauling. It may be the thing for you. It may be the thing that you could get passionate about. I mean, there's uh, there's just so much stuff you could do to make money, but Life's too short to just make money. You gotta like what you do. I mean, sure, the money's all right in car hauling. It's it's okay. It's reasonable. You know, you have your challenges. I got busted by the DOT. I was overweight on the trailer axles. Didn't think that Ferrari SUV would weigh me down so much. And I don't. And got a nine hundred dollar ticket coming in. To uh, Arizona, it really put me in a bad situation. But whatever, you know, it's I, you know, I mean, for, I kind of forgot about it when I had the delicious buffet. Did you see that clip? I mean, that was just mind blowing. The flavors. It's almost like like a dream. So uh, I just want to say thanks for everybody that supported me and encouraged me to go back to car hauling and stick with it. And it's it's been 2006 is when I hauled my first car, and then 2013 is when. My car hauling business fell apart. My life fell apart. Went through the big D and here I am. Ten years later. I'm not Job anymore. Everything is... It's being put back together. Hope you enjoyed these video clips while I was chatting with you and these time lapses. Please share my videos. Share my videos. You never know who we could encourage and brighten up their American dream. See you all on the other side.